thread, thread, thread. I am obsessed with thread. This is nothing new to my friends. Many of them have thread envy. I honestly think it's impossible to have too much thread, but might be possible to have too much fabric. Fabric can go out of style, but thread is always gonna be useful. So I wanna show you just a little bit of my thread collection and explain to you what I might use some of these threads for. So we're gonna start with the basics. The basics is a cotton. So this is a 50 weight cotton. The 50 weight cotton is the one that you use for piecing your quilt. It also can be used for quilting the quilt. I love a 50 weight cotton in the bobbin if I'm gonna be quilting in the top with a 50 weight or heavier cotton thread in the top. This is a 12 weight cotton, which is the heaviest cotton that you can actually put through your sewing machine. Using a 90 top stitch needle, you can use this very heavy cotton thread and when you're quilting with it, you will see what you have quilted. I love using heavyweight threads. When it's you know really simple background and I wanna add some interest, that's when I'll grab my heavyweight threads to do my quilting. The next one is rayon. Now, 15, 20 years ago, rayon was the thread of choice for embroidery machines and if you wanted to get a little bit of shine on your quilt. So you would use rayon thread. It's kind of gone out of vogue. People don't really use it as much anymore, mainly because it's not color fast. So a lot of embroiderers that used to use rayon now have turned to shiny polyesters. The polyesters they're able to make nowadays are fabulous. They're super shiny. They're great colors. They're really strong. I love using the polyester that's shiny. So this is going to be a polyester that's shiny and variegated. You can't go wrong with the variegated thread. This is going to be a polyester that's a matte. Now I will use a matte polyester if I'm machine quilting with a polyester in the bobbin, but the main thing that I use a matte polyester for is for garment making. I still make garments and that is for sure my thread of choice when I'm working with garments. Then polyester is going to be very, very fine now also. This is a bobbin thread. It's a 60 weight. It's called bottom line, and it's because it's really made for the bobbin. So I'll use that 60 weight bobbin thread in my bobbin and then put these heavier weight polyesters in the top. Love the combination. It really works well. My tension's gonna be good. I'm not gonna have a lot of thread breaking. The other thing I like about that 60 weight polyester is when you wind your bobbin with it, it will go so much longer than if you wind it with a heavier thread because you can put more thread in the bobbin. Speaking of bobbins, there's also pre-wound bobbins. Here is just a few of my pre-wound bobbins. The pre-wound bobbins might work in your sewing machine. You have to try it out. It's not gonna work in all the sewing machines. In my sewing machines, the pre-wound bobbins work great. That's a great time saver. I don't have to take the time to actually wind my bobbin anymore. I just grab another pre-wound bobbin. The last one is going to be the invisible thread. I'll go a little bit more in depth with invisible thread later in lessons. It's a great thing because it's invisible and it's a bad thing because it's invisible. So here is just a small introduction to some of the threads that I love to use. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.